I'm tired of this old motherfucking truck, man. I literally got my blood on this damn thing, man. I'm trying to put this shit on, man, and bust my fucking finger like three times, and I just had blood dripping. Tired of this old motherfucking truck, man. But what's going on, everybody? Um, just giving y'all a walk around to Big Daddy, man. Today was one of my off days that I thought I was going to come over here and, you know, replace a couple things on the truck and get back to work tomorrow, which will be Sunday the the 4th. But long story short, man, after I dropped my trailer last night, um, like right when I was unloading my last tanker trailer last night, um, the truck was just like vibrating a little weird, man. It was just feeling a little funny. So I went and dropped the trailer and I came and parked in my spot right here. And I, something said, walk around the trailer. Like I'm in the, around the truck, you know, post trip. And it was, it was like what? Three o'clock in the morning. So I come back here, man. And all this right here is just caked up in oil. And uh, you can smell it burning. And I really don't know exactly where it's coming from. But uh, somebody pointed out, uh, pointed out to me that it could be my pinion seal. And I got this thing right here, which I think is a pinion seal, that was loose. I'm fucking got mosquitoes out here and ladybugs is fucking biting on me and shit. But uh, yeah, man, they got um, that up there was loose. Uh, I tried to call the roadside out today. And uh, they was like, yeah, we ain't doing that. Um, yeah. So I'm like, all right, man, it is what it is. So, um... I was supposed to came and switched out both of my um, mud flat brackets. I just switched out one, man. I, I got irritated, and it was hotter than usual. Like yesterday was fucking 50 degrees. Today is 85 degrees. I'm out here sweating this shit. So uh, I'm just like, man, forget it, whatever. Cause it's like I have a good week, you know. And I don't speak gross numbers. I speak what's to my bank account. So you know, I make a seven thousand dollar paycheck. I'm like, I'm happy. The next thing I know, a truck like, nah. I'm gonna need some of that. So that's pretty much where we at. So something back here is leaking. It's not up there on that first axle. Um, it's somewhere back here. So somewhere back here, it done splattered oil and stuff. I pulled up to the little fire hose, water hose up there and tried to like clean up, clean it up as much as I could. Um, I put some degrees on it um, earlier and then I sprayed it down. Then I just put some degrees on it right now, like a whole bottle of degrees on this whole back axle back here. So if, it's, if you see, like, it's kind of moist right now, but I put a whole bottle of degrees just all down here on brake chambers, um, drums, like the whole axle. I just put a whole, just sprayed a whole bottle of engine degrees back there. I'm going to let that stuff sit. I'm trying to debate if I should drive this truck tomorrow or not, man. I'm not going to say I'm confused, but I just don't know because, I mean, this rear axle ain't really that important because, I mean, I don't drive with the inner axles locked. You know, it's mainly this axle right here but i don't want to drive and then mess up something man i don't i really don't want to do that so um yeah then i came and put the quarter fenders on because um i was driving from louisiana and my driver's side quarter fender was like hanging so i ended up just pulling that one off and then today I, I came in like i said i put these on bought these off of amazon or ebay it was 150 bucks and these things does not come with instructions, man. They do not come with instructions. So I don't know, man. I put them on. They look all right, but I'm pretty sure I put this on wrong. Like there's a little plate right here that I'm pretty sure probably should have went back here to help like brace it up. So when I tried to take it off, that's where I was having the issue. This right here is like scripted out. So um, I was trying to get it out with some tools and stuff, man. I kept hitting my finger on it. And then next thing I know, you know, a bloody mess. So um, yeah, man, but um big daddy was running good until that part um i can pop this hood for y'all if y'all want to look under the hood see what's going on with it but uh you know i don't know if i told you i man i have to get my own tags i got my own tags i got my own insurance um pretty much got my own everything man i'm just trying something different you know no more nothing's on the door let's pop this hood So under the hood, a little dirty, but you know, come on, baby, focus. There we go. So it's a little dirty, but um, we have been working this truck. I am grossed at between eighty-three to eighty-four thousand pounds every load that I pull. Y'all get let's get on this other side over here. So like I said, we are grossed at eighty-three to eighty-four thousand pounds every load. Uh, that looks kind of bullshit. 
burnt. Look at that, I got it on my hand. I don't like getting dirty. So, um, something's going on with my suspension. Like, I know I need to grease the truck. I'm actually finna, well, I guess I'll go to Harbor Freight tomorrow. It's already five o'clock, man. I've been out here since like 12. Uh, I'm trying to clean up that oil and do all that, uh, that extra stuff. So, um, yeah, man, that's the truck right here. Uh, like I said, we're running heavy now, hauling tankers. Um, I mean, so far, so good. Um, I'm having issues with my lights. Then I had to like wedge a light, a little whole wiring thing under here with the zip tie so I could have lights on this side of the truck. So it's little small, small stuff like that, man. It's irritating. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but if I had to do it all over again, I would do it exactly the way I did it with this truck, man. So, you know, this truck is paid off. Uh, don't owe nobody anything. So, I mean, truck can sit, cause I mean, the truck actually sat for like three months, you know, so did my little training and stuff and now we just over here trying to make our money back so um it's looking pretty good but like i said now we got some issue going on back here uh, some type of oil leaking um yeah it's kind of irritating man but i'm just happy i don't want this truck to ever be on a tow truck man so that's why i'm just like trying to catch everything before it gets bad um my driver's side step broke off I was driving and I heard some rattling noise and I looked down and pulled over. I tried to rig it up with some zip ties, like just have it rigged up. And then I was going to like jump down and stuff. And I, first, soon I get, I get out the truck to help somebody and I hop back in. I stepped on it and it broke down again. And then it ended up like pushing back this way and it actually scratched my tank. So I went and pulled that stuff straight off, man. I didn't want to damage the tanks. So I do got some, um, I did order some rv steps that i'm gonna i was supposed to install today on here but because of the oil leak stuff you know i mean hey uh, truck still looking the same on the inside uh you know i got my, my red shag carpet in here now um haven't put another passenger seat in there yet i'm gonna tablet up there um i went to install my custom dash man and i tried to install this bottom piece first and the ignition part right here it wouldn't fit through so i have to go buy a drill bit step so i could actually drill that out a little bit but uh, that's the first issue I've had with the custom dash. Um, it could just be, you know, just mine. You know, something could have been changed out in this ignition right here before, you know, way back when. And it just, it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where we at. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you or want to tell you, but... Like I said, the quarter fenders, they're looking real nice. Like, this is a temporary thing, though, man, because eventually we're going to get the gangster humps. I'm um, going to get the truck stretched and all that crap. But that's going to, that's not nothing that's going to happen. Like, you know, that'll probably happen towards the end of next year. Wh who knows? We'll see. But as of right now, I'm on a mission to stack my money back up. Um, yeah, man, I'm getting tired of this old motherfucker. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but I'm, I mean, you know, it just comes with the territory. And lucky for me, I'm cool with, um, you know, wrenching on my own truck. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. You know, hey, I hurt myself. I'm getting bruised up. Mosquitoes biting on me. Ladybugs biting on me. I didn't even know ladybugs bit until I got bit today. So, you know, um, need to clean the frame up and all that. But that's not, you know, something that's just like really important right now. Main thing is to keep it running to get my money coming in. So that's pretty much where we at. So, um, yeah. Bought this off of eBay as well or Amazon. Um, for both sides i didn't put that passenger side on because that that one's still actually good so for now we're just gonna rock it like this man i really didn't want to rock it like that but i mean we're just going to for now like i'm irritated i'm hot um can't get nobody to come out and look at the truck tomorrow's sunday so i really ain't gonna be able to get nobody to come out and look at the truck I'm supposed to start back working tomorrow so i'm probably i know i'm gonna be down tomorrow i'm gonna be down monday probably gonna be down to po po possibly thursday thursday's the end of the pay period man and yeah as of right now we only got three loads in so not looking too good as of right now but we'll i'll keep you guys updated um like share subscribe i'll catch y'all next time